Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is add one row to tree. Given the root of a binary tree, then value v and depth d, you need to add a row of nodes with value v at the given depth d. The root node is at depth 1. Now the adding rule is, given a positive integer depth d, for each not null tree nodes in depth d minus 1, create two tree nodes with value v as n's left subtree and right subtree root. Now the n's original left subtree should now be the left subtree of the new left subtree root, and the original right subtree should be the right subtree of the new right subtree root. All right, so if we had this binary tree here, and we had a depth of 2 and a value of 1, we're going to add 1s here at the 2 and 6. And now the original left subtree and right subtree are going to be the left subtree of that 1 and right subtree of that 1. So normally with these problems, I like to do depth first search. You could do breadth first search, you can even use a stack if you want. But let's, the trick to this question is to think about the different scenarios, and there's really three. The first scenario is that there is no node, so we don't do anything there, we we'll just return it immediately. Um, the second is there is, it's at depth one, and if it's at depth one, that gets a little tricky because what we'll have to do is make the root this new value, and the original root is now going to be the left subtree of that. Otherwise, everything else, all we care about is we can keep track of the depth, and as soon as that depth is d minus 1, like say for this example here, we'll say at 2, right? 1, 2, what we'll do is uh, take the left subtree here, create a new one of 1, and store that original left subtree to make that the left side and we'll do the same with right after that we can just return the original node or the original root because it's now restructured okay so let's see what i'll do is write a depth for search and i'm going to pass in the node the depth and uh, i'll pass in the d i'm not sure if i need to do that but i'm just going to do it anyway uh, so the first thing is if not node we just return none right so that's that now else if the d equals 1, uh, that means we're going to have to create some sort of temp root. So we'll make this the tree node. And what we'll do is create a with the value and make the left equal to the original node. Uh, and now we just return this as the new root, right? Now otherwise, if depth equals d minus 1, we're at the depth right before the level that we want to uh, add these new tree nodes to. What we'll do then is we'll take the node left and make that equal to tree node value and we'll make the left equal to the node left. And this works because this um, value gets stored temporarily and now it's going to get stored here and it's going to get replaced with this new tree node. And same thing here. We'll do this, make the right equal to node.right. Uh, from here, we should just return the node, and otherwise, we're just going to call our depth first search with node.left, add one to the depth, and pass in the original d, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Uh, let's see, d, and we need to return a node here. So now we just need to call this function and return whatever it returns. Say so pass in the root, start with a depth of 1, and the d that's given to us. All right, so let's make sure this works. Oops, I misspelled the tree node. OK, so that looks like it's working, and we'll submit it. So we took care of all the edge cases and accepted. Great. So this is O of n time complexity. We do use O of n space as well um, because of this recursive stack. Uh, otherwise, uh, using breath, breath first search could be a little bit faster in terms of space complexity, but I always prefer depth first search. It's just more intuitive for me. So hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.